experienced throughout the I-5 corridor. But first, let's go to Fox 13's Brisa Mendez, who's been tracking the damage all over King County, which in one case, sadly, was deadly. Brisa. Brian and Hannah, it's a reminder to take warning seriously because none of us wake up on days like today thinking death is in the cards. But this morning in Fall City, a tree fell, killing a woman. We went out there. Um, they were able to move that person out from underneath the tree. Um, and at that time, some life-saving measures were performed. Uh, CPR was um, administered or given for about 20 minutes on scene before um, they eventually um, called it a fatality, unfortunately. We don't know why she was out on this gravel driveway. I can't tell you if they um, lived on that block or if she was walking. It's a rural area, and if you go out there, which, you know, it's like a, a gravel road, so she could have been doing anything from taking care of animals to going on a walk to, you know, we just don't know. Firefighters say that's where a woman died after being pinned by a fallen tree this morning, prompting officials to urge people to stay inside on days that are this windy. Because there is a risk of power lines and tree falls in our area. We see them go into cars on roadways, and this time, unfortunately, was on a person, um, which was deadly. And when it's not deadly, this kind of weather can be dangerous or damaging. In Covington, there was also a falling tree on a power line due to gusty winds. In Kent, closed roads due to falling debris. So what can you do about it? And the safety tip there is stay inside. We don't want you out on the roadways. We don't want you out on your property. We see the power lines fall. We see the trees fall. We see structure damage every time we get these high winds and we want people to be safe and stay inside. Another safety tip for homeowners is to get an arborist if they can to remove trees that are fall risk as soon as possible. Reporting live in Issaquah, Brisa Mendez, Fox 13 News, back to the studio. Thank you. And that advice is so key because we do have so many trees around our area that yeah. 